I love the garden. It's a vibrant community space. Jenny's Garden, one of Harlem's hidden gems. You can find it on 138th Street between Riverside and 12th Avenue. The garden was started in the 1970s by Jenny Benitez. Migrated here in the 70s, uh, rolled up her sleeves. This garden is all volunteer based. So in order to be a member or to participate in being a member and have an individual box, you have to show continuous uh, commitment to the parks and garden for one growing season and then you're in line to get a bed. We also provide a place for compost. Affectionately, everybody calls me Compost Sean. I don't know how I got that name. <laughs> but I used to love it when they, during the height of the pandemic, I kept the place open when every other place was shut. Food charity is a crucial part of their mission. We have a lot of gardening that is designed to reach the soup kitchen and help the community. And then you have the visually stunning gardens beyond that. And then you have kind of this wilder section at the back. Now in the back 40, I'm working on a native plant garden, um, which is like kind of my baby. I'm very excited about it. Um, yeah, so that's my, my now most exciting thing about the garden. The volunteers created sections, both practical and aesthetically appealing. It was given to me to take care of a small space where I implemented a Japanese garden, and it's like my baby. With hours of operation and contact information posted right at the entrance, if you want to volunteer, you can email the garden. Josh Perez, City College News.